In this video, we will reveal the untold but effective study techniques used by Taubus and the scientific study techniques that transformed me to study fast and get 8.69 CGPA along with all of my achievements at IIT Mandra. Starting with the easiest and effective study technique to crack any exams fast with evidence. This is Arthur. He is an average student throughout from childhood. I, I never scored more than 78 or 79 in my whole life. He graduated engineering jobless and decided to prepare for one of the toughest government exams in India. Okay. But yeah, in that one year of everything changed. Like after that, I learned how to learn. He cracked gate, secured MTech admission at IIT Madras, got 9.37 CGPA, placed in day one first slot at IIT Madras. Now he is working at Bajaj Auto Pune. What is the one steady method that you feel like very particularly effective? Maybe understanding the exam. Actually, the whole gate syllabus is like 100 hours. You have to only study 15 hours because from that 15 hours of study, you can get 70, 80 material science. If you don't study material science, there's no loss for you. If you don't study hydro machines it's not a big loss for you this technique is so efficient that i think if you want to do well in a competitive exam you have shit ton of syllabus okay i don't think it's covering the whole syllabus helps what helps is first you go through some previous exam papers understand what kind of questions are asked what exam actually expects out of basically that that's how i used to study that is drew he's a je topper iit madras distinction currently working in an hft firm with one crore package so technique one prioritize your study efforts and what contributes to more research in terms of exam. Now, if you feel this will save a lot of time, in the upcoming parts, we'll discuss nine more effective study techniques that will save your time even more. It also includes memory techniques to remember everything you read. Number two, the mindset that will change your academic life immediately. Let me share a real story. There was a UPSC aspirant named Anand who was born and brought up in Bihar. He came from a very low income family with his mother as a homemaker and his father as a daily wage worker. I also come from a very low caste. Since my childhood, I have to face this you know, untouchability in direct and indirect ways and I don't have my own home also. So whenever we used to go to find a home, so they will ask our cast and they will not give us any accommodation to for rent as well. He was an average student in school but went on to pursue engineering. After graduation, Anand decided to prepare for India's mightiest government exam, UPSC, by self-study. Unfortunately, around that time, his father lost his job and Anand has to support his family. So alongside his self-study, I had to work also in last two years. Despite all these challenges, Anand cracked UPSC 2021 with an All India rank 102. I share Anand's story because of a research conducted by Carol Dirk, author of the best selling book Mindset, and her team, where they introduced the concept of growth mindset, means the belief that abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort, learning, and persistence to local students in a state who were performing. That school had always been at the bottom of the district. At the bottom of the state. Do you know what happened after teaching them a growth mindset? So the reservation kids outdid the Microsoft kids. So here's the takeaway. Have a growth mindset. You truly have limitless potential. The thing is that if I can clear this exam without coaching and without any external help, being from this background, I think anyone can certainly do Now number three. Let's get into business. Firstly, how to study. Quick announcement. Currently, PW is running a massive three-day discount offer with up to 80% off on UPSC, ESC and GATE batches. If you are planning to enroll for coaching, the next three days is the best time of the year. Additionally, you can use code RAGU500 at checkout to get additional 500 rupees discount. Batch details. Mission ISRO 2025. 1599. Vijay Gate 2026 Rank Improvement Batch E 5500 Parakram 2.0 Gate 2026 Batch E English English 6500 Gate 2027 Shreshath 2.0 Batch C English 8800 Parakram 2.0 ESC Plus Gate Plus PSUs 2026 Batch B 10499 Shreshath 2.0 ESC Plus Gate 2027 Batch B 14499 Shreshath ESC Plus Gate 2028 Batch 2499 Parakram 2.0 Gate 2026 Plus PSUs Plus Face Operation Computer Science and IT 10499 Shreshath 2.0 Gate 2027 Plus PSUs plus face of operations CS and IT 14499. Now also experience infinite learning with batch infinity from PW offering gate kazana PYQ books and more. Don't miss it out. Enroll now. Now number three. Let's get into business. Firstly, how to study. Let me share the complete science in less than 90 seconds. When I was doing my beta till my bachelor's, I never been a guy who uses proper study technique. Now that is completely fine till bachelor's. Trust me, without having proper learning strategies, but with sheer hard work and road memorization, I got school first in my 10th board exam. Score 90 plus percentage in my 12, secured 8.3 CGPA in my bachelor, survived one month of gate preparation because after the first month, I burned out and demotivated due to my wrong study technique. Reasons A, like every toughest government exams we have, gate exam syllabus is huge. B, like in schools and college, there is no concept of book back questions or important questions in memorize and write in. The questions are completely new and to thrive in gate, an aspirant had to have conceptual clarity. That's when I started
started to understand effective study technique. Yeah. A joint IIT Madras secured 8.69 CGPA, published a paper at Springer, secured silver at Entrite Sports Meet, won best outgoing basketball player of IIT Madras, grown this channel to 100k in college, cracked IELTS in 7 days, got a PhD of South Korea, now a consultant and a creator. If I look the back, the most effective study technique that changed my life is active learning. I followed a three-step system backed up with evidence in these books. Step 1, simple, understand. Step 2, just reading and understanding isn't enough. Still, A, there will be many gaps in our understanding. B, we can solve problems just with theory. So step two, practice. We need to solve the problems in the textbook. In the context of competitive exam, we typically solve a lot of previous year questions. Step three, flow notes. In simple words, writing the information required for the exam in our own words. A, it helps in understanding. B, memory. C, easy revision. Study technique four, for those who are lazy but ambitious. There was a point in time while I was at IIT Madras, I literally used my phone 13 hours a day on an average. Because a month before that, I was being hospitalized. And in the initial days, we don't know the cause of my disease. With doctors unsure of what it is, I, with the symptoms I had, I tried to find out the cause by googling it. And that's when I came to know I have all the symptoms of life-threatening diseases, including cancer. So to feel good, I kept on scrolling. Literally doom scroll all day. Once things were fine and I was back to IIT Madras, I wasn't able to sit and study in my room where I previously worked day and night. At that time, I simply changed my study location to library. It was a beautiful day. I've been researching here at IIT Madras. And in the following month, I was right back on track. That's when I understood the importance of study space and productivity. Likewise, there are three more scientific tips that worked for me in boosting my productivity of study sessions. Second tip. What are the habits that the most successful students seem to incorporate. First of all, they are able to clear out other distractions. They are very effective where they make it a point of putting their phone away and off, of isolating themselves. That's right. They're not studying with other people. Study alone. Cut down all the distractions. Friends, girlfriends, social media, everything after the session. Third tip. Have you heard of the Japanese technique? Shahu. These Japanese students learn around 2000 kanji characters and they remember it for life. Shahu is the ritual used by Japanese students to get into deep focus. So hereafter, instead of studying random, be create a ritual. Maybe once after you sit, every time put your headphones on, play in white night. Start with planning what you are going to study in the session. So tip three, create a ritual to get into deep focus. Fourth tip, when you are going to study, be clear. Define what you are going to study. How long will you study? How many questions are you going to solve? Be very clear. Final tip, manage your energy and attention. The quality of study session is not simply the amount of time you put, but also depends on your energy and attention. So whenever you feel low on energy, take a power nap. Whatever disturbing your attention, manage it with daily planner tools like worry list and things to remember and if you are looking for a simple daily planner to plan manage your energy and attention effectively as a student i have created a free notion template with instructions check that out in my linkedin number five the perfect system to remember everything we study recently i came across a journey of an aspirant bodhisattva das gupta he written a blog post titled tire 4 to iit so far in my life i had of only tire 3 college so immediately i googled tire 4 college first post google showed me was never join a tire 4 college in india and inside that the first two words that was mentioned was feeling was less. In general, we can understand for Tire 4 college there is a minimal entry barrier, substandard quality of professors and facilities, placement potential is very less. And if we look at Bodhisattva, he was a below average student since his childhood. Notably in Lavan, as he writes, in my Lavan mid exam, I remember I have failed in all the subjects except English and Computer Science. He secured JE mains 1 lakh rank in his first attempt and 70k rank in his second attempt. Then he joined an Tire 4 college. In his second year he decided to give gate exam took the help of coaching for the entire year he was very regular with coaching institute and two months before exam the institute finished their syllabus that's when he realized his biggest mistake that wasted his one year effort he thought just like some exam he can efficiently prepare gate in 1.5 months so haven't done any revision during the year science tells us we have two types of memory short-term memory and permanent memory to get the information from short-term memory to permanent memory we have to revise periodically in west it's popularly called as space repetition. It's highly effective not only for memory but also for enhancing conceptual clarity because many of us understand things better when we review after our initial study session. This scientifically called as interleaving effort. So study technique 5 periodic revision. But while revision one should first close the book and try to recollect the information over just simply rereading. Now this brings us to number 6 because periodic revision takes effort. So let's talk about three simple scientific tips to memorize anything like a photograph. This is Sumit. He's an IIT Bombay alum. Gate All India Rang 1, currently an IES office. I'm a personal fan of Sir's study method. Sir, in his gate preparation, understanding the format of exam, which is mostly numericals, while covering each
each topic sir created shortcuts to solve problems wherever he can and in his final exam he finished the exam before 30 minutes like shortcuts there are certain elements we need to memorize that was no meaning at so all so here are three simple memory techniques for that technique one biologically we have outstanding visual and spatial memory system that's why when we see someone after a long time we will say oh i have seen you somewhere but forgot your name but we won't say i remember your name but forgot your face so associating what you are trying to remember with a memorable visual image will help you remember better let's say we want to remember the equation f is equal to mb we can remember the equation through visualizing this image which is a flying mouse in an airplane so first memory technique use memorable visual image technique two let's say you want to memorize a number like 2307191211032024 how can i do it easily chunking chunking technique is a memory strategy that involves grouping related information together in chunks so here you can divide this number into two days 23071912 now you have to memorize only two dates technique three create a story to understand this easier we will take the previous two dates how can you remember this easily stories i came up with a story 23 is lebron james so lebron just invited 07 mahendra singh dhoni and 19 abd villers for his son's 12th birthday but his teammate number 11 Kyrie Irving for his daughter's third birthday invited 20 male cricketers and 24 female creators got it right we have to make a meaning out of unmeaningful things study technique 7 the life changing Japanese technique despite following good learning and memory techniques I know one of my senior while gate exam he failed. First I saw him when I newly enrolled in coaching. At that time, he was preparing gate for the second If you are someone who is doing coaching offline at Delhi or Hyderabad, the classrooms there will be very big. Each class will contain at least 500 students and majority of them are new students like me. So usually good educators, I observe, they interact with the students. Well. From the start of coaching, whenever the educator asks some questions related to the con or when he gives a practice question, our senior Anna gives answer very fast and solves the problem very quick. But did you know, despite clear and conceptual clarity and remembering the complete syllabus sir in his second term isn't able to perform well there can be many reasons but in preparation point of view the reason is kaizen there is a japanese concept called kaizen it implies continuous improvement in simple words for us it isn't enough to just revise and comfortable with what we know it's important to a solve different problems of different difficulty b constantly find shortcuts or tricks to solve problems efficiently you got it right continuous improvement in every aspect now if this sounds like doing a lot of work our eighth technique will give the same result by saving a lot of time there was an experiment conducted where they divided the students into three groups they were assigned to perform four study sessions before assessing how good their learning was group one first session study second session study third session study fourth session test group two study study test test group three study test 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 no surprise group three outperformed everyone because giving test has all elements of efficient learning along with immediate feedback metacognitive boost means by testing a learner will be more aware evidence is clear that if you compare how much you learn by spending one hour studying versus one hour taking a test on that same material you will retain and learn far more as a result of hour you spent taking tests to give a lot of tests study taking line so we took a group of individuals and we assigned them to one a sleep group and a sleep deprivation group what you find is a quite significant 40 percent deficit in the ability of the brain to make new memories without sleep here's the point you're going to need Need to get your sleep right in order to be able to study and learn at your absolute best so sleep isn't optimal it is a part of studying Keeping sleep after studying is equal to you are losing half the world sleep seven to nine hours a day now after all of this let me reveal the real secret of toppers that got them ahead of 99 percent of their competitors this is jay he was a neat topper jay tower did you know in his batch he is the first student to join iit madras now he is working in a quant firm. and that means the salary is approx one crore and i asked any particular study technique that was very helpful to you I mean, at such i didn't follow any particular technique but uh, one thing is like the consistency that was like most important since is better than any technique when i was his hostel mate all the time in the world when i see him he just simply studies so what i'm trying to point out is these techniques are the foundational principles on effective learning but some of us are slow learners some of us have certain format of exam where some techniques are inapplicable and for some the exam has a huge syllabus i believe results is the ultimate motive so number 10 use these techniques to accelerate your progress but not as a tool to seek comfort do hard work and be result driven finally if you are someone who is serious in changing your life then then we understand the importance of staying disciplined 
Hence, I studied the routines of UPSC toppers and scientific literature on human motivation and discipline, and made a video on it. Check out this video to find out how anyone can trick themselves and a build a perfect daily routine. B to be disciplined.